What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Fresh Prince Sports, and today we're going to be doing a prospect breakdown slash scout report on Hamza and Nazaldine. If you're new here, please hit the like subscribe button as I have other, you know, prospect breakdowns slash scouting reports and an entire playlist with over 60 videos. You can go check that out after this one. Also, I have a QB through safety positional rankings as well as a lot of seven round mock drafts on the channel. So, without further ado, let's get started. Basically, he's a 6'3", 213-pound senior safety from Florida State. Stats for him in three seasons uh, and two games this season. He's had 233 total tackles, four tackles for losses, one sack, one touchdown, four interceptions, nine pass deflections, and one fumble recovery. Awards for him in 2019, he made second team all ACC and was third team in the ACC. He made... Uh, and he was third in the ACC in 2019 in forced fumbles. Pros and cons from pros. Netherdine has a blend of size slash athletic ability that most safeties just don't. As one of the biggest defensive backs in the class, he stacks and sheds very well in the run defense while also bringing, being able to defend you know, tight ends in man coverage. Nazaldine is a physical safety who plays an aggressive game. My favorite part about his game is his versatility. At Florida State, he was, you know, played almost everywhere on the field. He's played single high safety, box safety, slot corner, linebacker, or even as a pass rusher. His athleticism and length makes him NFL, you know, an NFL positionless player that many teams will be looking for. Um, Cons though for him, he sometimes takes bad angles in the run game and like, you know, like other Florida State defensive backs, not much, he doesn't have much experience in man coverage. A minor issue is that, you know, he sometimes does hesitate also. And lastly is his major issue, his big red flag, which was when he tore his ACL in late 2019. And it really did limit him this year as he played two games. And it just wasn't his best football. So the injury is still, you know, coming back to him, still has distracted him. And we didn't really see much of him recovering that much in the senior role. Pro comparison, I'm going to have to go with Jeremy Chin. Both defensive backs with similar sizes. Chin came in, you know, to the league as a safety, but quickly switched to that linebacker's favorite hybrid spot chin athleticism and size and length you know shows very well when he plays linebacker and safety uh and that's why i think you know nerzaldine really compares to him because i feel like he can be that positionless player that really helps a team and honestly if he you know his play his cards play out really right uh he can reach that jeremy chin rookie season that um guys like him are really looking for Team fits, I'm going to have to go with the Broncos. Kareem Jackson most likely won't have a long future with the Broncos after this season. And, you know, that's even if he will play this season. But even if he does play this season, Nazareth Dean fits in this Broncos defense who needs a better nickelback or even just a future safety or even a guy who is gr who can fit in that um, outside linebacker spot that's not really a pass rusher. Draft projection, I'm going to have to go with early third round. I think personally he's a second round talent, but because of his senior bowl that he had, he really didn't impress anybody. And as he was supposed to, you know, he was supposed to prove to everybody that the injury really, you know, he's back fully healthy. It really didn't show, you know, how fast he was, how his, he used his length. He didn't use that great enough. So I'm saying, like, I think he's definitely talented. But he is overshadowed by players who just surpassed him over this past couple seasons. So we'll have to see where he goes. Early third rounder is for teams that, you know, are going to give him a chance. But I think he's definitely going to have a great career if he can just stay healthy. So that's basically what I have for you. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe button. Make sure you comment down below. And stay tuned for the next video. Peace.